So listen, folks, I know it's been a long time since I've been here. I've been doing no car stuff. Been working on other things. It's really hard to get my motivation up, though. I'm grinding, knocking out these videos, trying to do some cool stuff, and uh, just lost my motivation. But today, I'm forcing myself to get up and go work on some junk. I watched a couple episodes of Roadkill last night. Got me re-motivated, so I'm about to brush my teeth, get dressed, and we're gonna head to Cleveland and try to move the motor mount to the hearse. Surprise! We're at the hearse. Um, I don't remember what all I've told you about this car, so I'm just gonna start fresh, like I've never told you anything. So, the motor's sitting in here, right, and it clears good and everything, but the, one of the problems is this steering hits this part of the pan whenever you turn. This side clears good, but this side hits. So what I'm gonna do, we got a lot more room since we're not running a 4L80 in here. And I'm going to cut the motor mounts and raise them up. And then once the motor's set in level, we got about an inch and a quarter or inch and a half right here. I'm gonna move them forward just a hair, a half inch or so. That'll give me the clearance I need on this. But right now, I'm trying to locate the transmission that's supposed to go in this. Buddy said it was in the shop, but I'm not seeing it. So I got some looking to do. Once I get started doing stuff, I'll uh, check back in. All right, so I still don't know where the transmission is, but I'm just gonna do it without it. Let's see, I cut that motor mount off there. Now I gotta cut this one off. And we gotta raise them up and move them forward just to here. All right, dudes, I think I'm gonna cut this. That'll raise it up a little over an inch. We also have a little bit that stayed on there. You know, I didn't cut it all the way down. So that'll take out from how it's raised up. So about an inch, so that'll be good. So I'm just gonna cut a piece of this wide enough to weld that piece of pipe to. I'm gonna cut two of them and get them cleaned up. And Everybody, so I don't know if you know this, but August in Central Texas is pretty miserably hot. But if you look up here, so you got the motor mount moved and motor mounted. I got the cross member built. It's kind of sketchy, but it's going to stay like that. Got the transmission mount mounted, rather. I got it all in. So now I'm going to work on trying to get a drive shaft. He's got a whole bunch of drive shafts here. I'm gonna see if he's got one that'll fit it. It's a two piece. I've got both pieces of mine. I'm hoping, cross my fingers, mine'll fit, but I don't believe it will because I think this motor and transmission combo is way shorter than what was in here. So I'm gonna use the back piece of mine, get it bolted in with the uh, old uh, carrier bearing, and then see if I can't get a front piece made or find a piece that fits and if I can do that here today, then I'll be driving this thing in no time. Got new sway bar end links put in. They're not the best. They could probably be tighter. And I'm dying over here and tired of messing with it. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at, so. All right, so we got the rear part of the drive shaft held in just with two bolts right now. We got it supported. And then I had to pull the carrier bearing off because it's broken. 
So I'm on my way to AutoZone to try to find a, another one to see if they've got one that matches it. And uh, we'll try to get this job shot put in today. Hi right, y'all. So got a carrier bang here. That is obviously no good. And they don't make a replacement anymore. Only special ordered items and they're $250 a piece. And I'm not spending $250 on a freaking carrier bearing. So, fix and get creative. The only part of this that moves is this inside part of this bearing right here. So I'm fixing to do this bad boy like this. I'm gonna weld it. I'm gonna fill it with something and then I'm gonna cap it to hold it all together. And that's how we're gonna do our first job with this thing. What do you think, Gage? I think it's gonna work. All right, so we changed our plan a little bit. Three inch was just a hair too small, four inch was just a hair too big. So I took a three and a half by three reducer, and I cut it down to where the curve was right at the top of the rubber piece so that I could uh, squeeze it together and that would hold it. And then I glued them together with some high temp RTV, some mega black RTV. I pressed this on the outside of the rubber piece with this vise and then I welded it, tack welded it around the edge and then I cut this off right at the top of the rubber. So basically we just put a metal sleeve on the rubber carrier bearing and fixed it so that it wouldn't vibrate or anything like that. So if you need something rigged up to work, I'll let your boy. All right, y'all. There she is in all her glory. She works good. As you can see, we roll down here. We're about a foot short on our drive shaft length. So I'm assuming I'm gonna have to just take this to a drive line shop and get them to finish that front piece out. See what I need to do. I guess that'll do it for this episode. I'm about to head home and get me some rest and cool off a little bit. So, all right, so there you go. If you haven't subbed yet, I'd ask you to sub so you can keep up with everything and uh, see where we're gonna be and what we're gonna be doing next. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.